Hello everyone, Michael Murnoff. Today we're going to be talking about rapport on the phone. Whether it's, you know, home phone you have or cell phone or PDA or whatever it is, the three strategies that I'm going to share with you in this quick video are going to allow you to build more rapport, more trust, and have more confidence with the phone calls you make to your friends, family, relatives, and most importantly, your prospects. Now, what I'm going to share with you when it comes to building rapport over the phone is this that it kind of goes against a lot of what I teach you in the regular rapport because when you're meeting with someone one-on-one face-to-face, -on -one, -face, there's a lot of stuff you can look at. You can notice people's facial expressions. You can notice if they, are they happy? <laughs> or are they kind of looking down? They look a little sad. You also can notice their physiology. Are they moving towards what you're doing? Are they kind of not leaning in? But most importantly over the phone is you're going to get zero nonverbal feedback. Let me show you again. Zero. And what you are going to get is something else you can focus on, which is most important. Now, with regular communication, 55% of it is the other person and your physiology, how you guys you know, interact with each other. But over the phone, what's going to happen is your communication is going to come down to two huge things. Words, the words you use, and I'm telling you, you can confuse anybody any day with the words. If I say the color blue to you, go down to Home Depot and get the color blue paint. Aren't there like 7,000 varieties of blue? You're going to confuse people with words. But most importantly is the tone. Now tone is 70% of communication over the phone. 70% of the way you communicate with people over the phone is going to be your tone of voice. For instance, are you saying things like, I'm excited about this? Or are you excited about this? Same word, different tone, different result. Like if I were to tell you that tomorrow I get a very, very great conference call that you're going to love. It's going to be very, very powerful and it's going to be able to assist you in moving forward with your business. Versus if I said, tomorrow I have an extremely exciting conference call that's going to be able to assist you with your business and show you how to make more money, which would you rather hear? Well, of course the second one. Because the words and the tone matched up and they did something called being congruent. The words and the tone were equal. They were the same. So the first thing I want to share with you today is that you got to focus on your tone, how you use your voice. You also want to listen to other people's tone. For instance, if they're kind of quiet, you may want to start off kind of quiet and then you can go louder from there. But the second thing that I want to cover with you is your own physiology. What I call is a physiology check, how you're moving your own physical body. For instance, when you're communicating with somebody, you know, what are you going on? Are you sitting down with somebody? Are you sitting on the phone, talking to them and saying, Hey, um, yeah, this business is real exciting. I think you're going to like it. You know, a novel idea, maybe just to just sit up straight and say, yeah, this is exciting. If you can't stand up at work, you may just want to sit down and sit up straight. And the other thing you can do is, I tell people all the time, if you can walk around on the phone and stand up straight, you sound more powerful. You and I both know when people communicate standing up, they communicate more effectively. And people can feel that through the other end of the phone. So the most important thing to notice is to check your tone and then do a physiology check about how you feel and you'll start relating more to other people. Most important thing to understand. Now the third thing is really, really cool. Pay very, very close attention to what I'm about to share with you because once you learn how to do this, it's going to impact your business, your sales, your relationships, and everything. Because have you ever met somebody before when they were communicating with you, they kind of sounded negative, they told you all their problems like, I hate my job, you know, uh, you know I, I got to get out of my house, I can't afford my mortgage anymore, they complain about everything. Now, and you've met other people that said, I love what's going on and all I want is more in life and tell you all the great things they want to move towards. Well, it's not that there's positive and negative in these communication. Well, you might think that. It's their emotional driver or their process are lined up differently. Now, once you can understand emotional drivers and a person's process, you can understand how to assist them in getting what they want. And they're going to feel like, like love being around you. And the reason why is they're going to say, hey, you're one of me. I'm one of you. Now let's talk about emotional drivers for a second. We'll call it emo drivers. Now what emotional drivers are is when you're communicating with somebody, if somebody says, I want to be my own boss, that's something what I call they're moving towards. Now if you look at the word here, towards, towards means something that I'm going to get closer to. And it's, let's say, be own boss. We've all heard people say this before. they thinking about their goals. They want to move towards something. Then you've met other people before that said, I hate my job. I don't want to go anymore. You know, we've all heard people say this. And these are people that are doing what I call moving away. Away from what they don't want 
but they're maybe not necessarily moving towards what they desire. So when someone tells you, I hate my job, they're not telling you they necessarily want to be their own boss or they want a new job. They're telling you, I hate my job. And they're telling you their outcome is, I want to move away from the job that I hate. But they really don't have a direction. Or, you know, you're talking to somebody on the phone and they're saying to you, you know, I can't pay my mortgage. You know, I can't pay my mortgage. So now a towards person might say, you know, I want to find ways to make more money. You know, so I can pay my mortgage anytime that I want. Now, you may think these people are saying the same thing, sort of like someone who says, I am sick of being unhealthy. I don't want to be unhealthy anymore and I'm sick of it. It's very different than someone that says, I desire to live a healthy lifestyle. See, the person that says, I desire to live a healthy lifestyle wants to move towards what they desire. But the person that says, I hate where I'm at, I hate what, you know, the way I feel, I hate being unhealthy, that person is saying they're looking just to move away from it, but they're not telling you they want to move towards something else. Now, you might think that these are just the way people chat, and, but I'm going to tell you, when you're communicating with people, you have to give them back what they give you. So let me show you how to actually use this. Let's take an example of a person who says that I can't pay my mortgage, i just not able to pay my mortgage. That's that person. So this person is not telling you that they're looking to find a way to make more money, even though it sounds like that. If you say, hey, let's find a way to make more money, you're going to break rapport with them. So the fastest thing you'd want to say is, well, I can understand that you're having a challenge paying your mortgage. Well, let's see what we can do to attempt to take your worry away. Because they're admitting to you they're worried. They're not telling you they really want a better situation. They're telling you they're worried about the current situation. So you're telling them, let's find a way to take your worry away. Now the towards person would say, the one that says, I want to make more money and build a bigger house, you'd want to say to them, well, let me show you a way to make more money and build a bigger house. Or let me focus on what you want, not what you want to get away from. So the key is when dealing with people, are they towards people that are moving towards what they want, or are they away people that want to move away from where they're at? It's very important to understand. Let's go back to that health example. The person that says very simply that I really hate being unhealthy. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. And the person that says, I really desire to be healthier, are saying two different things, even though it sounds similar. The person that says down here that I desire to be, I really want to get away from feeling unhealthy, you'd want to say, look, why don't we sit down and I share with you a way to stop feeling unhealthy now. That's how you talk to them. The other person says, I want to feel healthier. You'd say, great, well, let me share with you a plan how to feel healthier. You're telling these people almost the same thing you're saying up here, but it's speaking in their language. The person that says, I'm sick of being unhealthy, you'd say, great. Well, let me share with you a way that you can stop feeling unhealthy. When you start talking to people like that, you're starting to talk to people in their language. So start noticing now, are people towards people moving towards what they want, or are they away people moving away from where they're at? The faster you learn this, the faster you can start using it in your business and in your life. So let me recap real quick. We talked about rapport on the phone. First thing is, words are important, but tone is even more important. How you use your physiology. Are you talking like this to someone on the phone? Or are you moving around, standing up straight, or worst case scenario, sitting up straight in your chair? And the third thing is, when you're talking to people, are they away or towards people? Are they talking about what they want, or are they talking about what they don't want? Now tomorrow I'm going to share with you a technique and a philosophy that I learned you know, a few months back that's been working phenomenal. You know, actually using it with some of these videos here right now. And you're really, really going to enjoy noticing this and start using it in your own life. So check your email tomorrow. you got a great video coming. I appreciate you watching this, and you may want to watch it again and take some notes. Have an awesome day.